Yo, what's up everyone? It is summertime. We're gonna take you to the 626 Night Market. Again, this is where it all started. I'm excited to show you what's up. A lot of food coming along the way. It is a wonderful 2019 in the hot summer, so they have it four times a year. It's gonna be fun, so stay tuned, y'all. Meet me at the cornerstone. I know that I can't be without you. This bond is solid gold. We're a diamond and an emerald. It took me forever to find you. Cause when it's all over, the love that you give will be there to guide you in every way. Now we've been through the cold and darkest days. The summer's calling. Troy's World brings you a grilled cheese garden. We're here in Arcata, California at the 66 Night Market. We got MJ behind the scenes making legit sandwiches. We got the pepperoni double decker right here. So it's kind of like pepperoni pizza, but instead they use a slice of bread instead of your generic dough. So that's pretty unique. It is called grilled cheese garden in the first place. And we also have their feta right there. That's the Mediterranean. And they use feta cheese and sun-dried tomatoes in that one. What MJ is making is the iconic lobster melt. So you got a bunch of lobster. You and then MJ is also making making the jalapeno poppers. Four different iconic sandwiches in the mix and grilled cheese garden is known for their rainbow grilled cheese but today we're gonna try different things and we're gonna show you exactly what they have that's not on the Instagram page. So I bring you these four sandwiches so stay tuned. Hope you enjoy the review. As we wait for the smoke to clear and we watch our dreams appear I know that we can rise together This vision that we share is ours Together we can touch the stars I know that we will see December Cause when it's all over The love that you give Will be there to guide you in every way What I got with me is their double decker pizza and this is pepperoni pizza. This is the interplay on pizza but instead of using dough, they use a slice of bread. And let me show you what it looks like. It's like opening a box of Pokemon cards. You just never know what you're gonna get. Here you go, boom. And they call it double decker because you get two slices of bread. And in the center, you also get pepperoni and cheese. And what I love it is on top, they put another layer of cheese and pepperoni. This is amazing. You don't just get one layer, you get two layers. And that's where the double decker comes into play. They make this so crispy. You get the really nice crystallized crust on top. And when you go on the bottom, they make it extra charry. Look at that. Just look at that kind of nice brown layer right there. Oh my goodness. I'm a big fan of pizza and I can't wait to try this pizza sandwich combination. So let's give it a shot and let's see what it tastes like. Oh man. Oh my God. Where has this been all my life? I wish I had this at the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl is in February. I wish I was eating this because this would have been perfect for like a party, a celebration, a birthday. This is incredible. This cheese is so, so nice and rich. The cheese is super duper soft. You get through the really delicate layers of the first slice of bread and we get to the second slice, it's way more crispy because like I said, they grill it extra firm. That crunch is addicting, the cheese is delicious and that pepperoni comes in at the end. How can you not like pepperoni? That was an incredible combination. I really, really enjoyed this pepperoni pizza sandwich. And y'all, let me just show you how easy it is to pull apart. Look at this. Oh my God. Mm. I wish there was a grilled cheese garden next to my house because if there was, 
I'll probably be a buyer every single day and just go there. It might put a lot of weight on me, but it's totally worth it for this taste and this quality. I'm a fan of this. And wait, they also come with pizza sauce. Pizza sauce right here. You just dip it with your pepperoni pizza. Wait up. I spot a Hilda on the corner making some awesome sandwiches. Yeah. Hilda, how's it going? It's going great. You guys Woo. have to come out and check it out. Taking you back to your childhood with the real cheese. Definitely you gotta check it out. No joke. Hilda's making some good stuff, whipping up some nostalgic, amazing yeah. memories with these. And Hilda, thank you for creating this thank for you. us. So we could all feel young and happy again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hey, we're here at Ice Cream Garden LA and also Grilled Cheese Garden. Hi, I'm MJ. MJ, are you excited? Oh yeah, I love doing this, especially with the music and yeah. this way we can give the crowd like a little dance. Yep, and yep. I love doing this at night. It's really great to like be out here. I'm an extrovert, so I love to be around people. And this is just fun. Even when it gets hectic, it's fun. <laughs> What's your favorite part about this process? My favorite part yeah. is just when people eating them, they're all just like, this is so great, this yep. is so great. That's my favorite part. Yeah, I love when people just do the cheese spread, right? Right, yeah. right, and they <laughs> see the big cheese of the yep. rainbow. It's really good. <laughs> and what are you making right now? This is a Mediterranean, and then over here is the pizza one that we do, which we put it on top so it looks like a pizza, and then we flip it over, and we wow. just get it a little melty on the top, just for like a little bam. Wow. That's like a creative spin off of pizza. Yeah, and yeah. then we give them the sauce to put on it, and then they're good to go, and they can dip it in the sauce like that pizza sauce. Wow, look at that. MJ, thank you so much for You're this. You're so welcome, really thank you. It. Check them out, y'all. Let's give it a shot, and let's see how it tastes. Oh, yeah. Mmm. That makes it way more fun. Oh, my God. Honestly, I wish I could just drink this right now, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna share with the rest of the group. And now let's try the other sandwiches. Got the jalapeno popper sandwich, y'all. And this one is gonna be quite an epic experience. I saw them making it and it was really hard kind of keeping my drool back from my mouth. When I saw them cooking on the grill, I was like, y'all, I'm already salivating to the max. This is the jalapeno poppers. Boom. Don't you like the open experience from the back? Look at that. Look at that cheese. Oh my God. Look at that. It's like telling you a pull on it. Look at Oh man. This jalapeno popper sandwich, it got cream cheese with bacon bits. You got jalapenos inside. You have a dual fusion of cheddar and mozzarella cheese all in this amazing fusion of happiness. This is what you call a sandwich family, y'all. There's been mom, pops, sister, brother, all in one sandwich. And just look at that. Look at that motion. Come on. Don't you love that cheese pull? Whoa, look at that. Wow. I could watch that all day, y'all. All day. You get the really nice crunchy texture on top. You get also a nice crunchy texture on the bottom. You get that cheesy amazingness. And let me just do one more pull for all you at home. There we go. I dare you not to salivate. I dare you. Wow. Uh, it's so fun watching it, but I'm sure it's even more fun eating it. So let's give it a shot. Oh. Let me tell you how much I enjoy this. So I'm a little bit lactose. And since I'm a little lactose, I gotta watch out with dairy products, but when it comes to grilled cheese garden, I put that out the window. I'm like, I'm gonna eat these sandwiches no matter what side effects I get tonight. And I'm driving home by myself, so, you know, I'm not gonna affect anyone. But honestly, back to the story, yo, jalapeno has such a nice flavor. It counteracts the mozzarella and the cheddar so well. Then you get the hit of the jalapeno. And lastly, that cream cheese comes in with that smooth consistency, along with the bacon bits to give you kind of a different texture. Y'all, this has been epic, and this is only sandwich number two. I know you all seen that epic rainbow cheese pool, but they got way more sandwiches than that. Trust me, they got a plethora of different things on their menu. Don't just go for the rainbow grilled cheese. Try out their other menus, and you'll see exactly what you like and what fits your boat. So, sandwich number two is down. Y'all, let's continue this party. Let's go, sandwich number three, we got the lobster melt. Yeah, I said lobster melt, and yeah, we're at a food festival. Lobster and food festival, it goes together. High quality ingredients, delicious, homemade food. Y'all, can't get better than that, so let's try this lobster melt. All right, here we go, this is the lobster melt. They don't skip out on the lobster, let me show you this. Whoa, look at that. That's all lobster right there. You have arugula to make yourself feel better and less guilty eating it. You also have the same fusion of mozzarella and cheddar. They don't skip out on the lobster. You know what that means? You have no excuses not to come here and try it out because I can't even wait eating this. I'm trying so hard to restrain myself from biting this piece and I just want to show you this epic pull. Let me show you one more time. One, two, and three. Look at this. 
All right, I'm a big fan of seafood. I'm a big fan of grilled cheese, even though I have a lactose intolerant problem. It's all good. Sometimes you gotta live life and deal with the consequences, but that's what living life is. Look at that, it's like a swing. If I was a little kid, I would swing on this cheese, y'all. Look at that. All right, let's give it a shot. Mmm, lobster. Wow. Eating the sandwich wants me to make a rap song about lobster, and I want to be featured on Drake's album. That's how good this lobster is, y'all. I feel like Kawhi Leonard ate this lobster sandwich before he played in game six of the NBA Finals <laughs> to seal the victory because this is how good it is. Oh my goodness. The lobster piece, super soft, super nice texture, easy to chew on. And what's really nice is you get that soft cheesiness of the mozzarella and the cheddar. I'm not a big fan of arugula, but arugula works in this case with this lobster sandwich. It really cleanses out my palate towards the end of the flavor profile. As soon as I take another bite, my palate is clear to absorb more of the flavor of the sandwich. And the cheese and the lobster mixes so well. You get that crunchy texture. This has been a joy and we got one more sandwich left. We got the fourth and final sandwich. We got the Mediterranean. And heads up, Mediterranean is my favorite genre of food overall. And when you combine it with an epic grilled cheese, I don't think there's gonna be anything to dislike about it. Here we go, the Mediterranean, y'all. Let me do a cheese pull for y'all. Oh my goodness y'all, look at that. Wow. So you can see, we got sun-dried tomatoes, we got feta cheese. It doesn't get more Mediterranean than this. Do you feel like you're on the sea right now, in the Mediterranean region, swimming across a pool of amazing sandwiches? Yep, I know. I'm there right with you, and I'm on the flavor train. So let's give it a shot. Oh. Y'all be kidding me. Oh man, it's too good to be real. I'm dreaming right now. Grilled Cheese Garden could take over corporate America and take over all the pizza chains. This is off the roof. That feta cheese to the sun-dried tomato creates such a nice balance. The sun-dried tomato has such a nice flavor. What I love about it is that a lot of feta cheese I eat kind of packs you and punches you right away. And it doesn't give you time to adjust to just the sharpness of the flavor. But this one, it kind of slides in like a low-key spy and it's like, yo, I'm a feta cheese, enjoy me. But wait up, we got some sun-dried tomatoes to kind of cap off the night. Y'all, we tried four different sandwiches I am a happy camper right now. Thank you so much for blessing us with these amazing sandwiches. I cannot wait to come back in the future. Y'all, let me know what you think in the comments below if you ever try some of their sandwiches or if you plan to come here in the future. I'm having a great time and the party never stops at Grilled Cheese Garden. Peace Woo! out! Peace out! <laughs> From Grilled Cheese Garden and MJ in the house. Alright everyone, peace.